Tonight's a big moment in history here at Gardner's Orchard. We are planting our last tree out of 900. We got Baker Roar and Farmer Val on skid loader. Last tree here. So, so let me ask. Baker Roar and Farmer Val are on the skid loader? Well, <laughs> Baker Roar is shoveling and Farmer Val is on the skid loader. Got the last tree due to John the Gold on Janelle 41 Roostock. Big moments here. It's good. Last tree is planted. There we go. We got one acre high density apples awesome. here on the farm. So, good stuff. Awesome. All right, so you guys, as you guys just saw, we just got done planting trees. And you go, you think that the work is done here on the farm, but that's never true. What I'm doing right now is I got to transfer these um, tomato plugs. They're 128 cell count trays, so there's 128 tomato plugs in here. I got to transfer them into these four-inch pots here. Four-inch pots. So... Once we got the trees done, that's a big step here. That I believe that's the most trees we planted here on the farm in one year. We got the acre of high density apples. So the next step for the apples is go ahead and pull the irrigation lines. First, we got to put the post, put the trellis lines, and then irrigate them and start training them to the tall spindle system. But for now, we got to transfer these tomato plugs into four inch pots. It's going to be fun. All right, so what I do, we got this, um, we kind of make our own uh, propagation mix. So we got potting soil with some of our topsoil here off the farm and then uh, some uh, some composted manure and it's about we what we do uh, is main steps or the main formula is we put two two big scoops shovel scoops of topsoil then we do uh, one scoop of manure or the compost and then two scoops of here of the the potty mix and what we do is we have a uh, concrete mixer an old concrete mixer so what we do we just throw that in there let it blend in nicely now we have a whole you know, it's just nice fluff. It's a mixture between the the topsoil and the composted manure. So the next step is, I already started here, but you what you do is I like to pinch the bottom of the trays, get the roots loose. They pull out the plug. There are nice tomato plugs here. Get the four inch pot. I like to put it in there and just fill her up like that. So there you go. And what I like to do. Is I don't like to fill them up too full to the brim because I like to water when I water them I like to go through once and I and I put a little bit of water until it's full and just let that water drain down to the bottom And I'll just move those to the other side here, but it's just a repetitive process all the way through takes a long time And the reason I start the tomato plugs in these 128 cell count trays is because I these are early tomatoes So I started them inside our house when it was like two or three degrees out here so I didn't want to turn on the wood stove here in the in the, in the, high, in the greenhouse. So that's why I had to transfer them. But we usually try to transfer them into uh, four four by twelve or twelve oh fours. That's what they're called. So there's a forty eight uh, cells per tray on the twelve oh fours. So it goes pretty quick. You just keep going and put the soil, compress it down. That's it. And then about. And with our sunlight that we have now, we're getting about, I don't know, 10 hours of sun a day now, or even more than that. I haven't even looked. But last year, what I did, I did the same thing on these 4-inch pots. And in 10 days, they went from this plug to about 6-inch plants. Even 7-inch plants on some of them. So, you get that sun and plenty of water. Lately, it's been a lot of overcast. So, that's not very good for vegetative growth. But the plants are still alive and doing good. So... Once I get done here, I'll hopefully crank up the heater tonight, and then hopefully it'll get to growing. Like I said, it's just a repetitive process all the way through. Alrighty, y'all, you guys get the point. It's just a long, tedious job. Not very tedious, it just takes a long time because you do so many tomato plugs. But the job needs to get done because if you keep them in here too long, as you guys can tell here, some of these tomato leaves are starting to turn yellow. They're on the bottom. That means they need more uh, room to grow there, but they're doing beautiful. 
So that's pretty much it for today. We got the trees planted. That's a big step. Got to get this tomato plug finished. And the next big step here on the farm, the next project, is the blackberries. But first, we got to spray, start spraying the trees. We got to start spraying the trees with some uh, with the dormant oil mixed with insecticide because we've been having a lot of problems with San Jose scale lately in the past few years. So we got to get that problem figured out. So stay tuned for more content coming on as summer keeps progressing. We're going to start planting more. You know, we got to start our, most of our vegetable crops. We're going to go up to the auction to buy a lot of flowers and stuff. So we'll do a lot of produce and different things. So stay tuned for that. But that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching. And go ahead, give a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel. Join the journey here on the farm. And until next time, we'll see you guys. And you guys have a good day.